Well, just knowing that we were going to get to play with him, you know, was a great opportunity. We were really excited to play with him. And the thing about Andy is he, he was a consummate professional. He worked on stuff at night before any recording sessions. He was, he would go home at night after a 10 hour day and say, I got to go to the hotel room and rehearse. So he was a total professional, as were the other guys. They kind of were all generally like that. But Andy especially would go, man, I got a lot to do here. So he would, he would go rehearse and then meet us the next day. It was a, quite an experience to watch that because there was a lot of overdubbing. We would play the basic tune, the three of us, bass, guitar, drums, and keys. And then would, a lot of overdubbing happened. So it's just us sitting in the studio watching him play by himself. That was, that was great. It kind of never stopped with him. Now, he's real professional and his playing is just great, but he loves to mess around and joke and fun to watch. <laughs> I was at a jam session in Houston with a bunch of guys in their early 20s. I think I was 22. And there's this 13 year old kid there playing like, you know, like a child prodigy. Everybody was blown away by Pete and he and I hooked up at that gig and played ever since. I'll give you a little uh, backstory about how this kind of came about. Pete and I had a system that we used to make all this happen. We would rehearse at night from five in the afternoon till eight or nine. Then I would go to work the next day all day. He would work on his computer and then we would repeat at five o'clock five to eight. So Pete and I would write the material, then send it to the musicians before we recorded, so they would be aware of what's gonna happen. And that's kinda how we did it. We'd rehearse in Houston for a couple weeks, and then fly to you know New York. It's kinda how we did it. Oh, well, you know, I love business. I love the Toyota business that I'm in, and have been forever, so yeah, drumming's my favorite hobby. Well, I'll say this, if you like Andy Timmons, I'd give it a listen. It's great stuff, he played great, and we're real proud of it, so hope you, hope you like it. <laughs>